Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I shall talk about a wonderful topic that is immensely relevant to our life. The topic is nothing but meditation. Meditation is a deep process. And today I'll be give you a glimpse of what is meditation and what is its elementary process. In my subsequent videos, I'll give everything in detail step by step and you will learn the entire process so even if you are a beginner if you can follow these step by step you will be able to do meditation yourself so please listen to my video till the end carefully so that you can learn and understand the concepts of uh, meditation properly well according to oxford dictionary meditation is being engaged in contemplation the word meditation has come from a Latin word meditatio, means to contemplate, think or ponder. So if we look at the origin of meditation, meditation is very, very old, thousands of years old and which is found in the ancient scriptures of India. Originated from the spiritual practices of Hinduism, Buddhism and Taoism, meditation is a wonderful process. And today, all over the world, people have accepted meditation as a way of life. In our Hinduism and Buddhism, the word meditation is described as dhyana, which is a Sanskrit language, is a word of Sanskrit language. So if you say, what is meditation? What is meditation? That is the question. Is it merely concentrating on something? Is it awareness of inner self? Let us try to explore it step by step. All of we are born as a pure self, which is clean, powerful and bestowed with all magnificent qualities given by the Creator. In the path of life, when you move ahead, when you grow, the turmoils of the society starts gathering around our pure self. Our true self, our pure self gets submerged and lost within and we lose the awareness of our powerful true self. We become vulnerable to the onslaughts of the outside world. Now to me, the meditation is primarily a process to regain the awareness of our lost true self by cleaning the garbage around ourselves. I repeat it again you need to understand it. To me, meditation is primarily a process to regain the awareness of our lost true self by cleansing the garbage around ourself. We rediscover through the process of meditation our suppressed potential and we start living as a normal and natural powerful human being. That is the power of meditation. Meditation is a process that directs our attention to our inner world as an observer. We feel in the process of meditation, we feel our inner being diverted from the turmoils of the external world. And through this process of meditation, there are powerful results are felt by us. The results are like this. We become free of distractions of the external world. We get clarity of mind. We start being emotionally stable. We get relaxation of mind and body. We get quietness and peace of mind. We become able to remove our stress from within and many more. Now, what is the science behind meditation? Different scientific researchers made on meditation has found that meditation is not merely being quiet or feeling good. Through the regular practice of meditation, one can change the structure and functions of brain in a positive way. And this changing the structure and functions of brain is known as plasticity. Through this process of meditation, our gray matter is developed in particular, it gets developed in the regions of memory, learning and emotional regulation. Not only that, it reduces the activity of amygdala 
the center for our fear and stress in the brain, thereby removing the ill effects of amygdala and controlling it to a large extent so that our fear and stress is removed or reduced from within. The discovery of scientists says that through the practice of meditation, we can reduce stress, we can improve our concentration of mind, we can improve our overall well-being. Meditation is nothing but is sort of workout for our mind for improving ourselves and our improving our mental well-being. There are various types of meditation. Meditation can be practiced in different ways. For example, I give you some examples here. For example, the mindfulness meditation. In mindfulness meditation, the focus is at present and our awareness is on breathing. In simple words, the characteristics of mindfulness meditation is that be confined in the present moment, being non-judgmental about anything that is happening around, within and outside. Be non-judgmental, that is really the characteristics and be simply an observer. The next kind of meditation, the transcendental meditation, it's a kind of mantra meditation. We somebody silently repeats the mantra or sound whenever practicing it and thereby they achieve deep relaxation and heightened awareness. But this process of transcendental meditation should be done under the guidance of an experienced teacher. The next is the guided meditation. As the name suggests, the guided meditation is a process where it's being guided by a teacher and the teacher helps to visualize certain things which are used to reach a meditative state of mind. By the process of this, one reaches that, reaches that meditative state through process of visualization. And this also is to be done under the guidance of a uh, teacher. Then comes the chakra meditation. In chakra meditation, the concentration is done on the chakras, the energy centers in our body starting from our root chakra to the crown chakra. In this process of meditation, the chakras are opened, cleaned and energized. It energizes, when the chakras are energized, it energizes the corresponding organs around it in the area. And it is also a meditation which should be done under the uh, guidance of an experienced teacher. As I told you, the chakras are the energy points or energy centers within our body there are seven prominent chakras and it controls the associated organs around it. The chakras are connected from the base of our spine to the top. Now the seven chakras are like this. Sahasrara or crown chakra which is located at the top center of the head. The Ajna or third eye chakra is located at the center of the two eyebrows. Visuddha or throat chakra is located at the throat area. Anahata or heart chakra is located at the meeting point of the two ridge caves. And the Manipura or solar plexus is located above the navel. Swadhisthana or sacral chakra is located in the sacrum below the navel. And Muladhara or root chakra is located at the perineum. Now, apart from this meditation, this meditation described by me. There are heart chakra meditation, Zen meditation, Kundalini meditation, Vipassana meditation and many more. Now, which meditation one should practice depends upon what suits to him and what resonates within himself, right? So, one should understand and get the benefits of different meditation only through practicing and which one suits to him, he should keep on practicing that. And wherever required, it should be done under the guidance of a teacher. That's always understandable. Meditation is the path to create awareness. Awareness is a beautiful process. Now, everything is existing in this world, but we become, we knew about it only because of our awareness. If there is no awareness, there is no existence, right? 
You have got everything but you are not aware of it. It does not exist for you. Awareness only creates the knowledge about this universe. Awareness is a process of relentless discovery of the things in and around us. Now meditation is a process of being aware. It helps us to go beyond and it creates an awareness, a new awareness of the world around us and the world within us. Meditation is done on any object. Focusing on that and the purpose is to create awareness about that object. Now when you meditate on your inner self, you create awareness about your own true self. When you meditate, we start knowing, we start perceiving the unknown things and we start feeling our inner self. We become aware of a lost identity which is buried deep within the data accumulated within us by the events, the various events of our life and the environmental turbulence. So you start being aware of that through the process of meditation. We rediscover our true self and its potential. We realize the peaceful, happy and tranquil state of our being, of the inner being, devoid of any turbulence and which is very simple and eternal. It gives a beautiful awareness about our inner self which is lost within. Meditation takes us beyond the barricades making us free from the tentacles of accumulated thoughts, feelings and emotions. So, what is the purpose of doing meditation? In meditation, as you have seen that everywhere there are some objects of contemplation in meditation on which one concentrates and becomes, gives focus on that. The object of contemplation depends on various meditation process, various ways and purposes. Let us first see what is the purpose of meditation for a common human being. Meditation like, is like what? It's like taking care of your vehicle every day. Not doing meditation is not taking care of your vehicles, right? Avoiding that, avoiding the servicing of your vehicle from time to time, what will be the result? If you do not service your vehicle, there will be troubles, there will be reduced performance of your vehicle. But if you take a little care, you will create a, keep a little knowledge about this and you keep the vehicle in good condition. Now you compare your body, we can compare your body with a car, any vehicle that you run. When you go inside the vehicle, inside your car, you are sitting inside it, you are not the vehicle, but you are sitting inside it. Now take care of your car, it will run for a more period of time properly without any complaint, without any problem, without any issue and someday it will stop functioning but you will not. You will come out of the vehicle and get another one. Similarly, our physical body is like a vehicle for us. You take care of it regularly and it will last for a longer period. Unfortunately, much of our attachment, most of our attachment is with our physical body and we identify ourselves with our physical body only. Actually, it is not so. We are different from our physical body and we change it when we die. Now, if you take a little care of your body, as I was talking about your car, if you take a little care of your body every day, keep in touch with it, Keep in touch with the inner systems of the body regularly, you will remain better and you will not become victim of stress, strain, fear or disease easily. The process of meditation is what? It takes care of your body. It takes care of your inner body, your physicality, your mentality and your every aspect of your life is being influenced by it. When you do the process of meditation, you can repair it you can rejuvenate it. Every day you do it, do the meditation, you will exist for a longer period of time in the same body. So meditation is a process by which you can take care of your vehicle, your body. 
and when you do it continuously practice it you can really bring it to a high level of capability of your entire being meditation is not only a religious practice it's not merely a religious practice it's not a faith it's not a dogma and some people perceive it by that way but it's not so it has got a pure scientific base right it is a essential thing for a human being to practice it regularly to keep themselves to its best condition being said so a meditation can be practiced it should be cleared in your mind that meditation can be practiced by all and everyone irrespective of caste creed sex or religion meditation is a blessings for human beings because by doing this we get relieved from our stress and strain we tend to know about your real identity that who we are as a human being we do actions for getting happiness the ultimate goal in this life for every human being is to get happiness in this life to achieve happiness in this life and you can achieve happiness in this life by performing different actions successfully your happiness depends upon the following factors when you keep a healthy body maintain good relationship with others you can perform your activities efficiently and you know how to remain happy in this life adopting and avoiding certain habits detrimental to the betterment of your entire being now for achieving these factors we require certain inner resources within us which can help us to do our functions properly like so god has given us the function god has given us the resources like the organs to function a superb brain to analyze and perceive things a capacity to send its commands to the systems to function in the body we have got intellect to differentiate between good and bad that these resources are available within us and there are resources available in the external world the resources available in the external world are secondary our primary inner resources are most important the primary inner resources when you achieve that when you get that when you use that it can enable us to use all other external resources if our inner resources are not enabled we cannot use our external resources so for that we have to keep ourselves we have to keep ourselves engaged with our internal resources and develop ourselves although we have got many things within us many organs within us many systems within us which can keep us at the best of its state there are many problems also within us because we react to the situations we react to the environments and thereby creating problems within us we have to learn not to react to everything that is happening around so that our system do not get weakened time and again we are continuously being subjected to the external environment and creating stress and strain within us now to in that process of learning not to react this process can be done through meditation meditation is one of the most important ways through which we can take care of this system given to us it can be serviced every day to function at its peak and to get the best of the results from this point of view it helps us to perform to our best justifying and achieving our goal of our life in this video i have given you a glimpse of the concept of meditation at what is meditation now read it and listen to it understand it this concepts the actual process will be described by me in my future videos but the concept is very important what is meditation you must feel it within yourself but for the time being i'll give you a basic meditation so that your curiosity gets satisfied 
and through this basic meditation you can initiate as a beginning. So getting started with meditation. Meditation is a simple process. You have to learn by step by step and consistently. It's not to be learned in one day, in one hour. It takes time to feel it because it's an inner thing. You have to feel it, understand it within. And gradually you will get a feeling, a consciousness within you. Yes, this is, this is what is meditation. You will start feeling it. So here is the beginning. Number one, choose a quiet space. A space which is devoid of any disturbance. Nobody is trying disturbing you, you are alone and you simply relax there without any disturbance or any kind of interruption. Now being in that space, be in a comfortable position, the second step. You may sit on a chair or you can sit on the floor or you can lie down comfortably, right? Be comfortable. The most important thing is be comfortable without any tension or stress on any part of your body. And remember, the, remember this thing very importantly that your spine should remain erect, straight. If you're sitting, it's straight. If you're lying down, even then, it's straight. Now the third step is focus on your breathing. Close your eyes, slowly inhale and slowly exhale through breathing. Slowly inhale and slowly exhale through breathing. And take the time as much as comfortable to you. Inhale and exhale. Now pay attention to your inhalation and exhalation. Your air is going in and his air is going out. Remember it be comfortable, not with any stress, not over stretching. Just inhale and it just exhale, air in and air out. Not in a hurry. There is infinite patience. Be not be in a hurry. Take it very gently and with an immense comfort within you. With a complete focus on your breathing. So inhale and exhale, not in a hurry, with comfort, with complete focus on your breathing. Do it for 10 times, 20 times or 30 times. Just do it. Have patience to do it. You are yet to understand and feel the inner things of meditation. It will take some time to understand that. In this process, when you continue, you will start getting that beautiful sense in the feeling of the meditation. Well, the fourth step is, now in this process, when you are involved in meditation, many thoughts will come within. Right? You have to manage your thoughts. Now, you are focusing on your breathing and the thoughts are coming from around and initially the thoughts will come a lot. Do not bother about this. Just observe as if the clouds are coming in the sky and that is going passing through it. Just observe and let it pass through. When you look at it, let it pass through again, bring back your attention to your breathing. Do not try to resist it. If you try to resist it, stop thinking, it will engulf you more. It will create problems for you more. Just be an observer. Let the thoughts come and go. Don't try to resist it, your thoughts. Just let it pass. Over a period of time, you'll see you are gradually being in control of your thoughts. The thoughts are coming and thoughts are going. It's not disturbing you, just like a cloud in the sky. Now make a beginning. So I have given you four steps. The steps are choose a quiet space, be in a comfortable position, focus on your breathing, manage your thoughts. And this is your beginning. Initially do it for five to ten minutes, not more than that initially. Now gradually you will develop understanding and you will be able to increase the time. And as I told you, this is simply to create the initiation of meditation process. In my subsequent videos, I'll come up with the each and every intricate details of doing the meditation step by step. For the timing, you just initiate with it. Do not overstress it. Just do it normally and naturally. Be in 
a feeling, you create and develop that feeling of doing meditation. So I hope by now you have become aware about the concept of meditation and its benefits. You should practice the method suggested by me for 5 to 10 minutes so as to feel the process of meditation and get some relaxation. In my future videos, I shall describe detailed process step by step. I wish that all of you start doing meditation, become free of stress and get peace in your life. Thank you very much for listening to me till this time. If you have liked this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon, like and share. Your small action would help me a lot. This is my first video on meditation. Please write in the comments about any question that you may have on the subject. Feel free to do it. I'll be happy to interact with you. Next time again, I shall come up with an another topics on meditation. Till the time I meet you again, all the best. Please take care of yourself.